Hey guys, welcome to Block Research. This live stream is gonna be about our new scalper technique that we use together with Block Algo Flex or even with the Block Algo that we have integrated into three commas. I actually would like to show you how to get access to this. In our Discord group, you can go to VIP access and Patreon. The, the link also is in the video description. So we got the subscription that um, is right integrated into three commas. It's very easy to use. Be able to just pick the signals from the deal start condition. Uh, I will show you later how to do that. And then the advanced version that is integrated into trading view. Very flexible. You can do a lot of different strategies with that. Combine it, like diversify your bot trading portfolio from a strategy kind of perspective. So we're breaking our head on this topic, how to combine signals that are good with dollar cost averaging. Because if the signal is good and you start with the base order of 10, it's really not very useful because it gives you like two or three cents of profit. And you will only make a lot of money once the signal is really bad. So you need to accumulate maybe 20, 30, 40%, whatever your strategy is. And then when it reverses, you, you make these bigger gains. What people commonly do is like, just put in a huge base order size and keep the rest of the strategy the same, which will, if it goes against you, certainly bring you into big losses. Okay, let me show you what I found out during the last days. The signal is always confirmed when the candle closes, right? So in this example, right here on the candle close, we would enter the trade at 9.50 a.m. And this would have given us straight away 0.67% profit. Okay, let's continue. We only go long, right? So right here, Uh, not as much as much as before, 0.4, but you see it went against us first. So we had a drop of 0.15%. So potentially you had a base, uh, a safety order here, which drags down your entry price and then um, you can get out in a profit right here. And then 0.7. And then 1.3, and we can continue playing this game. You see, all of the time it goes up. Maybe not always to 1% or something, but it's a five minute chart. Just keep that in mind. You can backtest that uh, manually, or you can backtest that with our backtesting tool that it's not integrated yet, but during the next days, we're going to integrate it into the Block Igo Flex subscription on Patreon, and you will get just access to this tool as well. And through our backtesting, we found out that an average 0.6% take profit is a value that is reached many, many times. We're going to go in with a base order of 100 and just two safety orders that are very tied together. And right here, it wouldn't have been filled. Um, let's see, this one, no, also too good, too good, too good. No safety always filled. Okay, here's an example, finally. So we go down just 1%, right? And to use these chances to uh, drag down your average entry, we, we have two safety orders in a distance of 0.5% each. So it's gonna continue buying until here with a volume scale of two. So your average entry is around here, just by eye measurement. And then obviously you're out in profit. So in backtesting and also in the first few days of going live, it works very well and gives you quick profits because you have a much bigger base order. But if everything goes against you, let me show you what we're going to do about that. But it's not such a problem because we just set these two safety orders. The position size is not going to be massive. So it's very easy to now manually layer uh, more safety orders. 
And for that, we got the volume-based support and resistance zones tool that can help you to identify these levels where you could potentially add in more funds and wait for the reversal. You see how well they have performed here. If this one broke, you can place more safety orders on the next level. So hitting the safety order, reversing out on profit. And when the four hour resistance was broken, you can add in more funds at the next level. It was a perfect entry. Okay, so what I would do in that case right here, live in the video would be if this one breaks again, I'm gonna layer another safety order right here. If it doesn't break, if it just goes straight up, it's good as well. We got our take profit at 41.334. So no problem at all. How much would you add? Uh, I wouldn't always go straight into doubling up because you can just do that like another three or four times and then your position is super huge. Take this amount and maybe add another 20, 30% to it. So I would go in for $1,000 adding $1,000 at our level of 39.767. Let's do that right now. So with the add funds function, it's very easy. Adding another 1,000. 39.767. And here we got our next level with a much bigger distance than what we accumulated here with a 1% price deviation. All right, um, that's it for the Scalper overview. Let's go a little bit deeper into the settings. So we got a base order of 100, leverage is up to you. And this is just the block algo inside 3Commerce, the, the cheaper version, which will be fine for this. It's just limited to the amount of coins the coins that are activated at the moment right here this is for FDX, this is for Binance Spot, but you can always request additional coins. So our take profit is 0.6% from total volume, safety order 200, just two safety orders with a step scale of two, which will give you a maximum position size of 700. Pretty easy setup. So yeah, I think that's it for this. Did I forget something? I think that's just a very cool strategy to combine the automations that are offered in free commerce with manually adding funds uh, to make it just more more effective. Uh, yeah, so I, definitely. I think that that's a very, very good strategy for, for those of us who sit at the computer almost daily and check uh, the charts. So I think this just makes a lot of sense. So yeah, if, if you don't need a 100% automated system, I mean, this is really much more profitable than uh, yeah. just dollar cost averaging with, with big swings. Yeah, absolutely. All right, cool. So thanks for watching and uh, subscribe to our channel. See you next time. Bye bye. Thank you very much. Bye bye.